In this video, we take a look at what's new in iOS 12.2 Beta 4. So there are a few new features that immediately stand out in iOS 12.2 Beta 4. The first thing you'll likely notice is the new news app icon, which now sports a white background. And this updated icon is a brand new feature to the fourth developer beta of iOS 12.2. And this updated icon is also present in other places around iOS. For instance, if you open up your widgets, you'll find the updated news app icon in the news widget right here. But by far the most in user discernible changes have been concentrated on the remote and control center. In fact, it gets a brand new icon in the fourth developer beta for iOS 12.2. There it is. It looks more like an Apple TV remote. Actually, it looks exactly like an Apple TV remote, wouldn't you say? I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it makes sense to just brand it as a, a simple remote because you're not just controlling Apple TVs now, you're gonna be able to control HomeKit enabled TVs as well. And if you open up your AirPlay 2 enabled now playing widget, you're gonna find that Apple TV remote shortcut button right there within control center on the Apple TV now playing interface. So. It's all about consistency. You get the same thing, of course, on your iPad as well. And tapping that shortcut will open up the remote right there for your convenience. Okay, so something else I noticed related to the remote shortcut in Control Center was the animation. I feel that the animation has been slightly tweaked. It's now smoother. It's not so abrupt. It sort of fades in and zooms up and does the opposite when you exit. And of course, you can use this interface. You have the 10 seconds skip back. 10 seconds skip forward, you can switch between Apple TVs and control the entire interface. And here you can see that animation that we talked about right there on the iPad. Okay, so here's a question. What happens when you try to launch the remote shortcut via Control Center and you're not connected to Wi-Fi? Previously, you'd get an error stating you must connect to a Wi-Fi network to use the Apple TV remote. And that was it. But now, watch what happens when we disable Wi-Fi and launch the remote shortcut. It actually gives you a little button to enable Wi-Fi right from the remote app shortcut. That is super handy. So you don't have to exit the remote app and then enable Wi-Fi and then come back. No, you can do it all in one fell swoop. Obviously this isn't a huge feature, but it's the little usability things like this that make iOS a pleasure to use. For more details on iOS 12.12 .12 Beta 4, be sure to head over to 9to5Mac and read the latest articles concerning the release. There you'll find some additional screenshots of the now playing interface that wasn't discussed in this video. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.